Hey there YouTube, Santee from the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Today we're going to be talking about the much anticipated making shotgun blanks. We're actually going to be making 12 gauge shotgun blanks and we're going to be making them with black powder. Now you can buy these already made just like you can with pistol blanks. And there are also companies that just make the hulls like these. They're already primed and ready for you to put black powder and wadding in. Um, however, they're a little bit more expensive and we're going to do this on the cheap today. But before we get started, I gotta add a disclaimer. Apparently, everybody Whitney's not joining us this morning for breakfast. You know, Dan, you, you gotta stop with the Whitney stuff because, quite frankly, you know. It's a joke, and no such thing as ghost. Well, but every time you bring it up, there's activity at my house, and I have a feeling he's haunting me. What? What's the matter with, what's the matter with you? Nothing. Sir, pain my hand. Oh, okay. All right. Well. You just, just got this ghost thing on your brain. There's nothing to it. Okay. You're going to need to purchase a box of 12 gauge shotgun shells. Target load is fine for this purpose. We're essentially going to empty the case of the contents anyway. A 3 quarter inch dowel sanded down to about 11 sixteenths. You don't have to be exact with the measurement, it just has to be able to fit inside the shotgun case. A sharp knife or exacto blade. Black powder. Now, I use triple FG, you can also use double FG. The brand I'm currently using is Schutzen. Haben Sie nur diese eine Flasche? Schutzen! I think it's pronounced Schutzen. Schutzen? 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 Let's call the whole thing off. Floral foam, available at your dollar store for a dollar. The foam is essential to keep the powder inside the shell and also help create the boom. Ultimately what will happen is this floral foam will disintegrate once it exits the barrel of the shotgun. Now you'll want to use two lead dippers for this, a 4.3 cc and a 0.3 cc, which is equivalent to about 70 grains of black powder. Yowza! You're going to want some containers to put shot, powder, and wadding into. A cartridge box to store your blanks in. Very important. Okay, let's get going here. So, with a very sharp knife or exacto blade, cut through the plastic shell. As you're cutting around it, try to keep it as even as possible. Empty out the plastic filler, the powder, and shot. I like to put the shot in a separate container for other projects later on. Positioning the empty shell over a container, fill the dippers up with black powder and dump them into the shell. Push the mouth of the shell through about an inch of floral foam. Come on now, you can do it. Use the dowel rod to tamp the foam into the shell. Really pack it down so we can get a big boom. Hey, that's it. We made a shotgun blank. The easy thing about these is that you can just throw them away after they're fired. Then you can go make new ones. Okay, now that we have our shotgun blanks, let's get to testing them out. Okay. <laughs> More powder. Mm, more powder. Mm, it's flammable. Well, I hope
hope you all learned something today about making shotgun blanks with black powder. As stated in previous videos, these can have a number of uses. Clearly they can be used as shotgun blanks. They can also be used for reproducing explosions. Please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you on down the trail.